here we go. And it's still too long. I can't. <laughs> I don't have access to the head of that bolt because <laughs> it's underneath the the fan shroud. Oh man. Ugh. Tell you what. Maybe you'll find out what size this is. be fun. Alright, so get this in there. Get this in here. And just basically hold that in place. And tighten that down. So far, so good. It's moving. All right, this clutch plate is coming off. Now my wrench has slipped off. There. Yeah, this little puller is working, working pretty good. There we go. Is off. Woohoo! Oh, must be getting old. My back is hurting. All right, so there's a little divot here, like a keyway. So that tells me it goes on one way. There's something in here. What is that? Oh, it's a little felt pad. Interesting. All right. So I have to remember to put this felt pad back in. Felt pad on the clutch plate. I might clean this off a little bit too. Give it a little sanding maybe. So anyway, let's sit this over here. Not the puller. Now, will this come out? Okay. I got a snap ring that I gotta take off. Okay, dokie. I gotta find some snap ring pliers. Snap ring! Snap ring! That's not the right type. Here we go.
snap ring. If I could get this to stay in place. Somewhere where I can actually see it. Got one side, loose at least. I need, I need something. Like a little screwdriver or a pick. Let's see here. Now that I have it loose, I might just be able to Maybe not. Uh. Almost. There we go. Oh, yeah. Tell you what, this is hard on my back. Let's move my battery charger out of the way. My little battery tender. All right, let's see. Where's my headlight? It's coming. I think I gotta knock that end little piece loose. Let's see. I can't stick this in there. There we go. One snap ring. Can you see that? Stick this over here. Now, will this pull off? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Put some oil in there.
this probably isn't the right way to do it. But it's working. Just doing light taps because I don't want to damage it. Just want to give it some light taps. Just enough to Just enough to get it to move. There we go. And it's off. Oh. Oh. All right. So, let me take a look. Probably clean this off a little bit too before I put it back in. I don't see anything else in there. All right. So now I just got to get this bearing out and stick another one in there. There's a little bit of play in here. I don't know how well the camera angle is kind of shitty. There is a little bit of play. Not, not a whole lot, but you can kind of feel it. And you can definitely hear it. So, I go with the sews again. Gotta get that bearing out, that bearing. And get that thing pressed out of there, get the new one installed. And then put that back together. Now I'm gonna work on that tensioner pulley. Oh, now that I got that pulley out of the way. Gives me a little bit more room to work on on this one. That's probably where most of the noise was coming from. Because that makes a lot of racket. Alright, now what size is that? It's not that one. What is this? This was a 916s. So let me put this nut over here. Here it comes. Away. So it's smaller than the 916s. there 
the thing there. Okay. Wow, listen to that. Can you hear that? I guarantee that's where most of my noise was coming from. It's even more noisy than the AC probably. All right, well, now that I got these off, I'm gonna take a break and I'll be back in a few. Hey guys, we are back. Here is the new tensioner pulley. Let's zoom out a little bit. Here's the new one, nice and clean. If you can see that, it doesn't quite spin as freely and it makes no noise. That's the difference. You got this one, brand new. That's what it's supposed to be like. Here's the old one. Check that out. That was making a lot of racket. Oh, all right, so here we go. I'm gonna put this back on. Oh. I don't know. I don't know how well you guys can see this. So again. Oh, all right, let's see. I'm gonna line this up here with the stud, the bolt. Nice and stiff. That's what she said. Turn this back on, tighten. And it wasn't very tight to begin with, so I'm not going to put it on very tight now. Yeah, just get it snug and snug. That should be fine. So there's one pulley done. Now I got to work on switching out. That bearing. Oh, first, while I'm here, get some sandpaper. I got some 400 grit paper here. Let's run the sandpaper on this. Got some corrosion buildup on here. Cleaned up a little bit, wipe it off. Alrighty, now, now I'll go to switch out that bearing. Gotta press it out, turn that light off. Inside of there looks alright, a little bit of oil, but that's alright. Got a key in here. 
Turn that off. All right, guys. Switch this around. So here's what we're looking at. I got oh, my new AC pulley bearing. There's an idler pulley that I don't think I'll replace because it seems to be fine. And so we got to press this bearing. Oh, I believe we'll press it out from this direction so it comes out this way. And we'll get on that and I will be back.